Hey friends, this is Lady Flora, and I got a book from the library that I wanted to share with you. You've probably heard of this book before, Flower Fairies. The illustrations are so amazing. How about some flower fairies of the summer? poems are actually really great too and occasionally I will find a poem about a flower that is in Florida the song of the honeysuckle fairy the lane is deep the bank is steep the tangled hedge is high and clinging, twisting up by creep, and climb towards the sky. O oh, honeysuckle mounting high, O oh, woodbine climbing to the sky. The people in the lane below look up and see me there, where I my honey trumpets blow, whose sweetness fills the air. O oh, honeysuckle waving there, O oh, woodbine scenting all the air. Here is the song of the white clover fairy, and I definitely have some white clover. Um, I had some in my garden this spring. Don't have any right now, but I'll read it to you. The song of the white clover fairy. I'm little white clover, kind and clean. Look at my threefold leaves so green. Hark to the buzzing of hungry bees. Give us your honey clover, please. Yes, little bees, and welcome too. My honey is good and meant for you. I think this is a really cool book. Um, I know it's called The Flower Fairies, but the amazing thing about it is that all of the fairies are dressed like the flower that they represent. So it actually really can help with identification, I think. Um, and the poems aren't even so much about the fairies as they are about the flowers themselves. So this is really kind of an educational thing. I think people might dismiss it because it's fairies, but, um, you know, people who maybe are really serious about plant identification. But what a cool way to teach children about plant identification. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I make these videos because I would like to help people live in harmony with nature. And that's what I'm trying to learn how to do. So please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And go outside and have a sublime day.